The two teenagers convicted of brutally murdering Brianna Jai in February last year have been sentenced to a total of 42 years behind bars. Earlier, a judge unmasked the twisted duo as Eddie Ratcliffe and Scarlett Jenkinson, who were both just 15 when they hatched a macabre plot to lure transgender Brianna to a park in Warrington where they stabbed her 28 times with a hunting knife in a ferocious attack. The murderers were previously known as Girl X and Boy Y to protect their identities as minors. Although the law would ordinarily protect them until they're adults, the judge ruled their anonymity order could be lifted given the harrowing nature of their crime while Brianna's father called the killers a pair of monsters, he today revealed he now disagrees with the judge's decision to identify them, saying their names are always going to be tied to Brianna's all the time. I think they should just be forgotten about, locked up and not be spoken about again. They're nothing. Uh, this is the moment uh, when the pair was sentenced. Both took part in a brutal and planned murder which was sadistic in nature and where a secondary motive was hostility towards Brianna because of her transgender identity. Scarlett Jenkinson, for the murder of Brianna Jai, you will be detained at His Majesty's pleasure. I set the minimum term at 22 years, less the 352 days that you have spent on remand. Eddie Radcliffe, for the murder of Brianna Jai, you will be detained at His Majesty's pleasure. I set the minimum term at 20 years, less the 352 days that you have spent on remand. Uh, well, I think the uh, decision to uh, name and identify these two people, uh, these two monsters, uh, was the right one. Uh, uh, Denise Fergus, uh, Jamie Bulger's mother, was on the TV last night saying, you have to do this. You know, not only do you have to name these kids who do these terrible things, like, of course, the two murderers of Jamie Bulger, you also have to be able to put a name to the face. And she said, in these circumstances, she was very eloquent, in these circumstances, we have to know the whole story, and that includes their identity. And by the way, what really struck me, she's talking about you know, the horror, horrific murder of her son more than 30 years ago. She welled up and started crying, which gives you uh, a, a kind of indication of the magnitude <clears throat> of what yeah. happens, you know, what parents go through when their children mm. are murdered like this. And therefore, because of the extraordinary uh, nature of this crime, they should be named. I don't think remotely they should have got the lenient treatment they did because they're young. Uh, with these sentences, you know, they'll oh, go to the parole board. We're not, you know, you could stay in jail for the rest of your lives. They won't. They'll be out by, yeah. their, by the time they're 40. They'll be out. They'll have their whole life ahead of them, unlike Brianna Jai, who they killed. Exactly. Uh, and but Brianna... Got to, got to stop being lenient with these kind of kids just because they're young, they premeditated this. This was a, an appalling crime, and frankly, I'd lock them up and throw the key. For away. Brianna Jai's parents and family and friends, it's a life sentence for them. Exactly. Their daughter, that exactly. girl, is gone forever. Haunting. I think they, we should absolutely know who, who these monsters are. I want to know who they are, because if they're in my community, I want to know what family they're from. I want to know who I should be looking out for. I want to know um, if there's similar kids displaying similar behaviours to these kids. Yeah. I want to know about it. And putting, as Kevin says, putting a face to the name of people who do this makes it so much more powerful rather than saying it's girl X and boy Y or whatever. Yeah. We need to know who these people are. We can look at them and we can say we these, remember, are the, these are the monsters. We have to remember the point, the point so of really anonymity. Generous. Anonymity is a courtesy to help with rehabilitation because we know that if they're not <clears> anonymous, <throat> it makes the rehabilitation that much harder. That does not apply to heinous crimes like this. I'm sorry, you lose that courtesy from the public when you commit this kind of brutal act of murder against someone. Yep. I, I don't feel sorry for them at all. I hope they never come out. Actually, these people like this make the strongest case for the death penalty because you also have to think, you know, people that are effectively in prison for well over two decades are costing the taxpayer 60,000 pounds a year. We could put that money towards a pensioner that doesn't have heating, right? We could do so much with that money instead of keeping these people alive at the taxpayer's expense. I'm not for the death penalty. I'm just saying they make a very, very good case for it. And mm -hmm. for that reason, at the very least, they don't deserve an anonymity. One last point before we <coughs> to uh, hog the proceedings, but uh, there's a lot of speculation that when these two are released, that they will be given new identities. We must not give them new identities. Yeah. They don't deserve it. Yeah, agree. I was kind of torn, actually, and I think actually listening to JJ talking about, you know, part of me thinks just 
lock them up, don't give them any identity. They've been absolutely subhuman in their mm -hmm. actions. Don't even register mm -hmm. them and just let the families, you know, follow the father's wishes. But actually, you're right. We need to know who these people are, the families they come from, do they have siblings? And they need to be accountable. 15 is young, mm -hmm. but it's old enough to know a lot better than this. Yeah. And, you know, OK, this stuff is online and... Um, but that was exactly what what the judge and I thought her summing up was 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 really really good. It, you know, it was it was. It was very unemotional, very factual. She was explaining exactly why why she, it was very long. <laughs> but, but she's I, on telly. It had it <laughs> had to be. But uh, yeah, and, and actually, twenty years and twenty two years minimum sentence is is not a lenient sentence. And she made it very no. clear in the sentence that she doesn't think that they will get years, out. They but, but they will be they out, but it's minimum. Leading. It's minimum, and if they don't change... Well, how about life? How about 50 years? Well, they, 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 they 22 can't... years, they'll be... They'll be they will be out. I don't think they'll get out. They well, have to go up before a parole board. But they have to go up before a parole board, and the parole board knows they'll that let these them people out. Be. I mean, it takes, it takes a lot for a parole board to release people that stabbed Plan and stab doesn't. someone. No, it it's such doesn't. a slur. It they it don't say it really does. they have converted to Christianity. <laughs> something like that. Oh, Am no, I being serious? Can, uh, they have twenty something years to think about how how they've reformed and how they've changed. I'm sure they will be out, as Kev says, that in their it, late thirties. But, but also, on, they have their whole lives ahead of them. On the anonymity um, subject, I completely understand why the parents don't want. These you know, these kids' names on everybody's mm. lips that you know that that they want us all to be thinking about Brianna and talking about Brianna and remembering her. But there is a public interest, yeah. and it's very difficult for the the judges to you know to, to look at those parents when they're doing something they don't want to yeah. do, and they yeah. and they're saying you know we're going to take away the animals. They're an uncomfortable. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it is uh, uncomfortable. There's a, it, well, yeah. another uncomfortable a a aspect to this is of course. Uh, the families of these kids, mm. yeah. you know, they will suffer. Uh, but I'm afraid that that just has to be lapped and, up. You know, Brianna's, Brianna's mom, her great mom Esther, has come out today and said, even now she's mourning having to go through this horrific trial, she's still showing compassion to yeah. those families of the, of the kids who yeah. murdered her daughter. And she said she hopes that the public show them compassion yeah, and I, don't I do too. scuff them with anger yeah, and vengeance. Exactly. But it's also interesting when, particularly with Scarlett, who does seem, you know, has got the longer sentence um, and had had been planning, you know, a sort of a horrible murder for some time. She'd tried to murder Brianna before with uh, the, the pills and the sort of drug overdose and so on. Um, you know, she had got obsessed with these <coughs> really, really violent Red films. room horror films. Films. With, yeah, videos. And, and that was ju uh, during the pandemic. Now, obviously, I am not at all making any excuses, but it's interesting. You think how many other kids or, hu or, or adults, um, you know, in a pandemic, getting into areas of the dark web, into areas of pornography, into areas of, of you know, horrible slash movies, you know, were having their brains played with in a way that we don't and going yes. down this internet sort of dark yeah. hole. But I also think we need to we need to think about these diagnoses because both of them were diagnosed with things like mild autism and spectrum. conduct disorder also, and all of that. that yes, okay. That I'm I'm not discrediting all all of these diagnoses. Some people are very, very autistic or you know asocial and have these problems. Conduct disorder is another word for appalling behaviour. You know, that we, yeah. we, we can't use I mean, that I kind mean, of stuff this, as mitigation. This, it is. But, but the it's what used to be called mitigation. really bad behaviour, you know, oppositional context, defiant disorder. In this All context, this. it means nothing because there's no conversation about diminished responsibility. They're just saying this is something... That's like saying I have a wart on my toe. It means absolutely nothing. I mean, the fear now is that people will use mental disorders exactly. and mental health <laughs> issues to try and get more lenient sentences. But you have to remember that the, the psychologists, the criminal psychologists... Like Aldo that, Calacane, eh? Exactly. Mm. But the criminal psychologists that evaluate yeah. these people deal with mentally unwell people day in, day out. So I think the risk of that is relatively low, I would say. But I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to blame, I don't want to blame the, the, the killer's parents, but when you're talking about they were in, sitting at home, going down the dark web, where were their parents yeah. or guardians monitoring what they're doing? And also, there is, there is a bigger yeah. conversation of there's some people that, I'm sorry, it's uncomfortable, that are just evil. Ted Bundy didn't have access yeah. to all of this dark web content when he brutally raped and murdered no, no, and butchered that, uh, well, hundreds, maybe, but definitely in the tens of women across the Well, that's the true. And the, and the judge and the experts did say, particularly Scarlett, but both of them had absolutely no empathy. So, yeah. you know, that is, that, that's a yeah, bad Yeah, but person. children come yeah. from somewhere, and if you grow up in a... And we don't know anything. I mean, I'm not throwing shade on their yeah, families. Yeah. 
you grow up in a family, in a deeply dysfunctional family with a broken system, with violence in the home, you are going to be Agreed, but I don't a broken think, I don't think they But do. every lawyer no, is going to bring do. this into every trial, like Baldo Canacane. Oh, well, he was a paranoid schizophrenic, mental health difficulties. Uh, there was another story this week of uh, a guy who beat a female prison officer to death and was released three years later because his mental health problems were now yeah. over. We've got to be getting out. These kids, uh, well, maybe they were on the spectrum or whatever, but this kind of almost habit mm. of introducing, yeah. oh, well, they got mental health difficulties. Oh, mental health difficulties. OK, you go to a hospital. Oh, all right, you'll be out in three years. We've well, got I mean, to that, be that, careful that's about something, really. yeah. that. We've got to be careful. That's something for the law to clarify because, again, it comes down to diminished responsibility. It's, so in the case of Valdo Cavalier... Well, no, no, I'm saying diminished Valde... responsibility yeah, but is what is... we've got to be careful about. It's what every lawyer goes for. They go, diminished responsibility because he's got mental health problems. But the, the we've got to be careful about is, this. Even diminished responsibility doesn't mean lack of responsibility. So in Valdo Calacane's case, he wasn't deemed as insane, which is the, the, the kind of the, the, the fine line between actual diminished responsibility and insane. And so he does have hospital. some responsibility. You know, people are making... There's some legal experts making the argument saying that when he comes out of the hospital when he's deemed sane enough, he'll be sent to prison because he did have some responsibility. You should go to prison but, now, but, 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 right now. But, but regardless, when it comes to this case, we are all in agreement that these kids should have been named. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, yes. totally. Yes, as painful as that is mm. for the, the parents. And, and let's not yeah. make it a habit for every uh, underage offender, uh, but let's take each case as it comes. This was a case just like Venables. Don't forget Venables and uh, Robert Thompson were identified. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Denise Fer Fergus makes the very good point. She said, I liked that. Uh, and we need to re-identify uh, uh, John Venables because guess what? It, that him, picture yeah. that we know was taken when he's 10, he's now 40. Mm. We need to know what he looks like. So uh, all, yeah. I think, uh, to be taken into consideration.